India's Deputy High Commissioner Gaurav Alwalia is currently meeting Kulbushan Jadav, the Indian national languishing inside a Pakistani jail. Earlier this morning, India accepted Pakistan's offer to grant consular access to Kulbushan Jadav. Now, consular access to Kulbushan Jadav has been one of the most prickly issues between India and Pakistan. India has been demanding consular access for the last three years and had repeatedly been denied after he had been convicted by a military court on charges of espionage after a sham trial. In fact, India went to the International Court of Justice, which unanimously, in the month of July, with a majority of 15 to 1, ruled that Pakistan should grant consular access. Post this, on the 1st of August, Pakistan had offered consular access to Jadav, but with caveats. It had stated that a Pakistani official will be present during the meeting between India's consular staff and Kulbushan Jadav, and the entire meeting will be recorded by a CCTV camera. India had rejected this offer, stating that this was against the Vienna Convention, which guarantees unimpeded consular access. This is the second time that Pakistan has made the offer for consular access, and this time around it has stated that it would be done in line with the Vienna Conventions on Consular Relations. But India is approaching this offer with caution. Last time, when the mother and wife of Kulbushan Jadav had been allowed to meet him, it was done with a glass screen between them. And later, the entire episode was used by Pakistan for propaganda. India maintains that Jadav is a retired naval officer who was illegally abducted by Pakistan from Iran, where he was running his own business. This will be the first time that 49-year-old Kulbushan Jadav will be granted consular access. And now we have Mr. Sushant Sareen, Strategic Affairs Analyst, uh, joining us live from India's capital, New Delhi. Uh, uh, Sushant, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on We On World Is One. Uh, as we speak, that meeting is taking place at a sub-jail uh, in Pakistan. Uh, straight off the bat, what are the first thoughts on your head? Well, I think the first thoughts in my head are um, the apprehension that, uh, you know, for the Pakistanis uh, to come up with this offer at this point in time, when they've been, you know, doing a lot of press beating and raving and ranting on the issue of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, trying to mobilize international opinion uh, with mostly lies and, uh, uh, you know, uh, with fake news and what have you. Uh, for them to make this kind of an offer, uh, you know, something, uh, uh, you know, uh, is, doesn't seem quite right. Uh, having said that, um, the other thing which comes to mind is that uh, have they accepted a completely unfettered access to Commander Yadav? Uh, because uh, if they're going to be placing bugs in the room to monitor what uh, is the conversation between the Indian Deputy High Commissioner uh, or the Charge Affairs and uh, Commander Yadav, right. uh, I think those are, those are issues... Uh, you know, what were the terms and conditions that were agreed to? Right. Uh, so that is another matter of concern. Sushant, uh, as we speak, uh, we are getting some breaking news. The meeting between Kulbushan Jadav and the Indian officials has officially ended. That's the latest piece of breaking news that is coming in from Pakistan. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik joins us on the phone line with more details than us. Well, absolutely. After lasting for about two hours and 14 minutes, the meeting between the Indian diplomat, who is the Deputy High Commissioner in Pakistan, Mr. Gaurav Aluwalia, and uh, uh, Indian National Coalition Yadav has ended. That's what we can confirm. And, and in some uh, moments from now, uh, Gaurav Aluwalia will be brought back from that sub-jail where the meeting took place to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, where uh, he will then be taken in an official vehicle, in the, uh, in the Indian High Commission vehicle, back to uh, the Indian High Commission. Yes, sir. Right, uh, that's the latest uh, coming in from Anas Malik in Pakistan in Islamabad. The Gaurav Aluwalia, the Deputy Indian High Commissioner, will be brought back uh, uh, now that the meeting is over. Sushant Sareen, our Strategic Affairs Analyst, uh, joins us on this broadcast as we continue to get you the latest details from Pakistan. Uh, Anas, if you're still with us, if you can tell us any other details. Right, uh, we don't have Anas with us. Sushant, uh, we know now that the meeting is over. Uh, Gaurav Alawale is on his way back, but we still don't have the answers to the questions that you were just asking. You know, were there bugs in the room? You know, what were the terms and conditions uh, that India has agreed to? Because India has also not uh, come out openly and said that if 
Pakistan has, uh, you know, perforced caveats this time around like it did last time around? Yeah, so, uh, see, now what we'll have to see is what spin the Pakistanis put on this meeting. Mm. Because there will certainly be some spin that they will put on this meeting. And they will try and use uh, uh, this mil or milk this meeting for whatever it's worth uh, to try and build up whatever uh, fake case they want to build. So I think uh, we need to be careful about that. I'm sure the people uh, in the government uh, would have factored this in when this meeting was going on. Uh, and I think it's extremely important uh, what is the narrative comes out from the Indian side about what exactly transpired during the meeting and what was the stuff which Commander Jadav told us. We should also be aware of the fact that it's been a number of years that he's been in Pakistani custody, uh, must have undergone unspeakable torture uh, and all sorts of other indignities must have been heaped upon him. Uh, so uh, has he been brainwashed? Has uh, uh, What is his state of mind? Uh, so all of those things... I'm sure, uh, you know, we would be very interested in knowing. Uh, because knowing the Pakistanis, uh, I don't see anything straight coming out of them anyways. So uh, I think we should brace ourselves for what is going to follow from this. Right, brace ourselves for what is going to follow from this is the word coming in from Mr. Sushant Sareen, Strategic Affairs Analyst. Uh, Sushant, stay with us. We're bringing latest pictures and details from Pakistan. Those are visuals of uh, the Indian officials' uh, car going inside for the meeting the ministry of uh, the ministry of foreign affairs uh, premises uh, in islamabad in pakistan uh, these are visuals from a little earlier exclusive visuals that beyond has accessed and for now the latest update on this front is that the meeting at the pakistani sub jail between indian officials and kulbushan jadav is over uh, the Indian Deputy High Commissioner, Mr. Gaurav Valwalia, who had gone for the meeting, is on his way back uh, to the Indian High Commission. That's what uh, uh, we understand at this point in time, and we are bringing you the latest details. And uh, also, for now, we do not know what were the terms and conditions on which this meeting took place, uh, for which we will get clarity uh, from the Indian officials uh, from here on. But uh, Sushant Sareen, our strategic affairs analyst, is telling us that uh, we need to brace ourselves for what Pakistan will do. And Sushant, that is because of clear track record. That look at what they did with that meeting uh, between uh, Kulbushan Jadav's wife and mother uh, when they said they offered, saying that, you know what, that was a great hope. We went with that meeting. And that meeting became a farce. Uh, it became a media circus. And that is the reason why today we say uh, when Pakistan is, 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 is putting out this good gesture, so to speak, we cannot have complete trust in it at all. Yeah, clearly. See, there's not a straight bone in Pakistan. Uh, and even when uh, they, uh, you know, uh, when, when the mother and wife of Commander Jadav was allowed to meet him, uh, you know, the gracelessness with which the Pakistanis operated, uh, the, sh the low cunning which they showed during that meeting, the way they tried to intimidate uh, uh, two uh, women, uh, I think uh, that was shameful but to be expected from Pakistan. Uh, now, Having undergone that particular experience, uh, to expect, <coughs> sorry, uh, to expect that the Pakistanis this time around are playing with a straight bat, uh, that they are doing whatever they are doing, uh, you know, out of their legal obligations, uh, they are going to be absolutely upfront about uh, what they are promising. They want to burnish their image. Uh, I, you know, I would be extremely skeptical about any of that. Right. Uh, and I would uh, really think that there would be something uh, which they would be plotting behind the scenes, catch India by surprise, use this meeting uh, to, you know, uh, uh, to, to, to carry out their propaganda against India uh, and all of that. So, so that is why I say that uh, I think it's important uh, to, uh, to wait and see how the Pakistanis are going to respond to this. Right how they're going to milk this meeting. Uh, and it would be extremely interesting to know uh, what were the kind of terms and conditions under which uh, uh, the DHC met. Uh, Sushant, you know, uh, on that front, I want to ask uh, you, India had made clear... There was some other official uh, from the government. Uh, you know, India had made it clear that there was no other way that this uh, consular access was going to be given unless and otherwise it's unimpeded and unrestricted, because that is according to Article 36 of the Vienna Convention on which uh, the International Court of Justice's ruling is there. So if India has agreed 
uh, to uh, this offer from Pakistan, then prima facie, uh, we can assume that uh, this is unimpeded and unrestricted access. Otherwise, India wouldn't have agreed to in the first place. Well, yes, uh, but you know, uh, knowing the Pakistanis, uh, while uh, there might not have been any Pakistani officials sitting in and the meeting, uh, unfettered uh, access also means that nobody was listening in to what uh, was uh, being spoken uh, in the room during the meeting, uh, because uh, there are a lot of mysteries about how uh, Commander Jadav finds himself in the predicament he does. Uh, where uh, he was picked up from, how he was kidnapped, uh, the entire circumstances around his capture uh, are, are unknown. Uh, that is one part of it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the kind of uh, uh, treatment he was meted out uh, in Pakistani custody, the torture that was visited upon him, uh, and all sorts of other things that were done to him. And, of course, uh, finally, the kind of evidence that was actually produced against him, because uh, nobody has ever seen the evidence that was produced against him. And uh, he was tried in a kangaroo court, sentenced by a kangaroo court. Uh, you know, the standards of evidence, the standards of uh, fair play, justice, nothing were observed. Uh, and, and he was sentenced to death. So clearly all of those issues uh, should have figured during this uh, particular meeting. And, uh, and, and we'll find out uh, from what uh, exactly happened, uh, maybe later tonight, maybe tomorrow, day after. Right. Um, but I'm sure some of the information will certainly filter out. Some of the information should certainly filter out, and we will be the first to get it here on Beyond World is One. But for now, uh, Sushant Sareen, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on Beyond World is One.